Let's scroll down to see more sections of the YouTube Studio. Here is the comment section. It is about channel comments and mentions. Tab Published shows the visible comments left on your video. Tab Held for Review shows potential inappropriate comments. They can only await approval for 60 days. After that, they will be deleted. Based on your YouTube comment settings, you either see public comments in the Published tab or Unpublished comments in the Held for Review tab. However, you might encounter unexpected situations with different types of audiences who leave weird comments. If you can handle it well, then visit YouTube Help to get advice and more specific solutions. Section number 6 is Channel Subtitles. You can see three tabs here, All, Drafts, and Published, which give you information about language, modified date, title, description, and subtitles of each video. You can set the video language and make it the default for your channel, or you can set it as a draft and edit it until you think that it's good enough. The section below is Channel Copyright. This is where you can easily track your takedown request that you might have submitted to YouTube. All of them will be listed below. We have to say that if your work was posted without your permission on YouTube, you can file a copyright takedown request in a legal way. Click on New Remover Request on the right and you will have a pop-up box. You will have to provide information about the specific videos and your copyright owner rights. Then, YouTube needs your confirmation about your removal agreement. Before giving any reasons to request video removal, make sure that you understand all the terms and conditions of YouTube video, or click the Learn More option on the right-hand top to get more information about this progress. After all, choose the Submit button on top to handle your request to YouTube.